I'm here on the outskirts of Udon Thani and we're at this lotus lake just here. It's early in the morning, it's about almost 8.30 in the morning. Um, beautiful little lotus lake out here. I'll try and zoom in for you guys. Look at that, beautiful. I've been to another lake um, which is even further away outside of Udon Thani. It's got a lot more lotus flowers in it but um, this one's just in the local uh, part of town where all the locals are and uh, you can see that all the lotus flowers around here they just started opening up. Today is uh, a Buddha day here in Thailand so I just went to the temple this morning um, paid my respects and prayed and that sort of thing um, but yeah it's actually been quite cold here in Udon Thani lately um, it's been around this morning it was 20 degrees when I woke up which is quite cold it might not be that cold for some of you but for Thailand it is very very cold <laughs> in the morning so it's a bit of a, a bit of a cold uh, sort of few days here in the mornings but it's, it's I've loved it man I've loved the the break from the cold but this is a nice little area here just to chill what's going on guys just uh, chilling by the pool here um, here in the outskirts of Udon Thani and um, it's a bit of a cloudy, turned out to be a bit of a cloudy day but um, look at this pool guys, let's check this out. There you go, it's a pool area here. Uh, this isn't uh, the pool at, uh, where I'm staying uh, at, the, at the hotel but um, this is, uh, yeah, it's a nice little area to chill. Udon Thani right now. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update um, as to what's happening um, with Udon. Uh, I probably will be here another 10 or so days. Uh, I'd say towards the end of November, I will be um, heading on elsewhere, somewhere else. Um, at this stage, I'm thinking either, it's most likely will be Chiang Mai next, so. Um, that will be very very interesting and I very much look forward to visiting Chiang Mai because a lot of people have told me about Chiang Mai I've actually never been to Chiang Mai and um, I'm very very excited to go there because I've heard lots of amazing things about it and um, yeah I'm very much looking forward to going up there um, but yeah that's probably where my next desti destination will be but um, I will do a few more videos on Udon as well before that so stay tuned for that but uh, yeah, nothing too much going on address a few things um, because I do get this question asked quite a lot um, about you know um, about home like do I miss Australia you know am I homesick do I ever get homesick you know when am I coming back you know I get this question a lot asked by my most of my family and friends they ask me this um, a few of you guys are subscribers as well but um, the general consensus that I that I get is that um, you know people that reached out to me they say you know every time I mention something about Australia and I say you know, I don't know when my visa will finish here, how long I can stay here in Thailand, but um, yeah, they just say, stay there, stay put where you are, you know, don't come back because it's such a <laughs> such a mess right there now. And um, it's very, very concerning what's happening. And I don't want to make this into like a, a rant sort of video or a political sort of video because, you know, you guys probably hear enough of that, especially if you're in Australia right now. But um, it's very, very concerning and disappointing to see what's happening over there. And um, it doesn't seem like uh, there's a lot of people starting to wake up to see what's happening but there's still a lot of people that just they don't really know the full scale of what's actually happening there right now they, they, they just think that everything's seems to be normal which it really isn't it's just a, a, a bunch of things you know um, I remember making a post on my uh, private Facebook account um, three or three months ago or something like that when I was hearing about these vaccine mandates and um, and uh, I thought, you know, they were, they, were, they were talking about it. And at that time I thought, you know, hopefully they don't actually implement that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it turns out they did. And um, especially, you know, if you want to go to a cafe, you want to go to a shop, if you want to pretty much have some sort of life, then you need to have double jab. And it's just absolutely beyond ridiculous. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't care what, what side of the fence you are on. Um, this shouldn't be 
something that's mandated, especially because I know a lot of people who are coerced into taking this. I'm sure a lot of you guys who are watching me right now were probably coerced into taking this because otherwise you can't work, you can't survive and, and, and pay for your family. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. It is, it is beyond a joke right now. And I'm sorry, I, I have to vent this because it's been on my mind quite a lot. And um, I just, I, I, it, it's really astonishing to see what's happening. And, um, you know, we just passed uh, uh, Remembrance Day over there in Australia, you know, honoring our soldiers who fought for our freedoms for our country. And there seems to be a portion of people that have just seemed to completely want to throw their freedoms out the window and are in support of these, uh, of our basic human freedoms that we used to take for granted, but we should always have them that are being taken away from us because we seemingly don't uh, have the double jab. It's just absolutely ridiculous. I, I don't care what side of the fence you are on. I've just had enough. Like I've had enough and, and seeing this is really disgraceful. It really is disgraceful. Um, I just I just can't support that. And, and I don't know what's happened to Australia, man. I really don't. It's just, it's really, really sad to see what's happening. And um, I, I just don't see myself coming back there with, with, with all of this stuff going on right now. And yes, the country is opening up right now. Um, they've reached a bunch of vax targets right now, but it, it's just, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't think this is gonna end anytime soon, man. I'm sorry, like, I, I, I'm a very positive person, don't get me wrong, but I can see a mile away that this is not going to end anytime soon. Um, there's already talk about these booster shots being brought in as well, you know, every six months. I, I, of course that's going to happen, you know. It's, it's, it's inevitable at this stage and it, yeah, anyway. I'm not gonna go into that too much, but um, uh, yeah, I'm just staying put where I am, guys, right now. When the time comes that I have to sort of make my decision to come there, and again, I, 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 I um, can't really go there right now because I'm not double jabbed. If I can go there, but I have to pay 3,000 for quarantine, and I'm not really uh, wanting to do that whatsoever. You know, it's, it's just I'd be an idiot to do that. Um, there were certain things, you know, coming through my mind, like, do I get the jab? Do I don't get the jab? Um, but um, even if I wanted to here right now, there was certain, a lot of places actually, I can't actually get the jab because there's certain age limits for foreigners here. I think they were doing it at 40 years and over in a lot of these places here in Thailand. I think they've just started, um, just started offering the, the jab to, to uh, foreigners 18 plus now. So. Um, that may be a thing to consider. Again, I don't really want to take it. I, I honestly don't. I am waiting actually for a particular jab that's coming and I've done a lot of research actually, believe it or not, um, into what I want to take. And I, I still don't trust any of these jabs that are on offer at the moment. I, I'm sorry, I'm just being honest with you guys. I don't, I, I, you know that bad feeling you get in your stomach? That's the feeling that I get every time I have to think of taking one of these things that is um, offered right now, but I have been looking into it and there is a jab called Novavax. Now this one uh, has been a lot of talk as a traditional vaccine. Um, just had a band passing by with Italian music. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this, this particular vaccine is a traditional one and they use the older technology which has been used in like the flu jabs and the uh, hepatitis B jabs, those sort of jabs that are, have been around for a lot, a lot longer. So. Um, there's none of that really mRNA technology in these ones as well. So I've done a lot of research and I actually had, again, you guys might think it's a little bit, a little bit crazy, but I had a dream, I think about a month or two ago, um, just with this word, like this word, and I never had heard of this word before, Novavax, it just appeared in my dream, like straight out, just this one word, I could see it clearly. And I actually didn't know what, what that was at that time, but, um, uh, you know, it, it's just that uh, I, I did my research and I googled it and, and then I found out what it was. It was a, a jab that hasn't been brought out yet, but it's being approved in, it's slowly, slowly in some countries. I think it's already been approved in Indonesia, but it's slowly making its way around uh, getting the approval. But if this is the one that I have to take, then this is the one I will feel relatively comfortable with taking. Um, again, I think it's completely wrong that this is being mandated in a lot of countries where people shouldn't really be forced or coerced into taking it. But if 
I have to take it, then this is the one I will want to take. So, um, but yeah, anyway, I can't get jabbed for at least the next three, two to three months because I have just had COVID not long ago. So um, I have to wait for a little bit to get that completely out of my system per the doctor's recommendations. But um, yeah, uh, looking forward to spending a few bit more time here in Thailand. That's just my, my latest thoughts. I wanted to get that out there because, you know, I don't really uh, talk to a lot of people about this sort of stuff, you know, and I, and I want to address this because, uh, again, a lot of my family and friends are watching this and they wanted to know, you know, what's happening, where, when am I coming back? Well, obviously I can't come back until I get fully jabbed. So um, I'm waiting until this Novavax uh, thing rolls out, man. That's just my opinion. Again, don't attack me in the comments. That's just my my feelings and my thoughts about it. Um, again, you're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to mine. That's that's that, that's what I'm thinking. So, uh, other than that, um, yeah, do I get homesick again? Going back to the question, I, I think I definitely <laughs> definitely went off on a rant a little bit. I apologize for that, but um, you know. I, I don't get actually homesick at all, like whatsoever. Yes, I do miss my family and friends uh, back home, but that is really about it. Like, you know, I, I, before I went on this whole journey here to Thailand, you know, I, I often thought like, mm, let's see like what will happen. Cause I've never been away from home more than six weeks. And this is the longest I've been away from home. So um, yeah, I, I often thought pr prior to coming here, like, Am I ever going to get homesick? And surprise, surprise, no, I didn't. <laughs> I have not gotten homesick whatsoever. And uh, I'm perfectly happy here right now. Um, and again, especially with what's going on over there in Australia right now, I could not be more happy to be away from that. So that is my thoughts, guys. But um, yeah, I'm going to take a dip in this pool now. Sorry to go off on that little rant there, but uh, look at this amazing pool there. Oh, man, it's beautiful. more videos from Udon guys but thank you guys so much for watching uh, please make sure to uh, like this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos in the future and uh, don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of any upcoming videos as well please make sure to share this video and uh, the channel with friends to grow the channel a little bit more but uh, thank you guys so much for watching I'm very very grateful for your time God is good let the journey continue